Hello, my name is Haha, and this is my new project. My challenge was to create clues out of braille for a scavenger hunt. So first, I had to research what braille was. I found out that blind people use braille to read. And each letter of the alphabet is made from a pattern of raised dots on paper. Time to make some. First, I wrote down my message. Next, I worked out what dot patterns were needed for each letter. Using a special gorge we made, I then drew the pattern in reverse order onto a piece of card. I then pierced the dots with a pin through the back of the card. So now each letter was raised. And that's how you make braille simples. Now I knew what I was doing. I then created four clues for my scavenger hunt. Challenge one complete. Now we're going to hide the clues around the school. And the student taking up the challenge was Mr Mullet. After Haha explained to me how to read braille, I wasted no time in getting started. As I decoded the clues, I told Haha the arrangement of the dots I could feel. Top right, middle left. And he found the matching letter. Sometimes we got a couple of letters wrong and had to go back and check again. But before we knew it, we had solved the first clue. Fish and Chip Friday is the real deal. The dinner hall. On to the next clues. We got into a good rhythm and communicated well working as a team. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming. Football's coming home. The goals in the mugger. Full of determination, we kept on decoding. Find me at 2.42 U-T-X-O-W-M-V. It's the library. The final clue. We were so close to the end. Here you can climb high into the sky, but because you are inside, you will stay dry. Is it the climbing wall? There it is! <laughs> we were so close to the end, and there it was. The finish line. As a reward for this awesome team's achievement, each received a large sticker prize kindly donated from graffiti artist Sotep. Thank you, Sotep!